draw an isosceles triangle with one side equals 8 cm and two sides equals 7 cm. So we need to draw the 8 cm length. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So that's point AB, 8 centimeter. So next thing is to measure 7 centimeters with the compass. So really, each big square box is 1 centimeter. So I could measure 7 centimeter by doing that. So that's roughly 7 centimeters. And I need to come to point And at point A, I draw an arc. So this is my point C. And I need to draw a straight line from A to C. And a straight line from B to C. We could measure it to see whether we've got 7 centimeters. So that's from 14 to 21. 14 to 21 is 7 centimeters. And let's do from 12 to 19, that's 7 centimeters. Also, we could check to see if this angle here is equal to that angle. So remember, the side is 7 centimeters and 7 centimeters. To check the angle, I could use my protractor. If I get the center of the protractor to be on this point here, and the line here, AB, will lie on the line of 0 on the protractor, and the line 90 degrees lines along that line. Now I need to measure the angle from zero. So it's going to be, I need to measure this angle B from zero, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 55. So that's 55. So this angle is 55 degrees. And we do the same thing here. Put a compass, uh, the Protract, we put a protractor center here and the line zero lies on this line and the 90 degrees lies on that line. We can count the angle from zero, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 55. So that meant this is an isosceles triangle. We could measure that angle we know if we work it out what what it will be because this angle plus that angle we've got 55 plus 55 will be 110 degrees which meant that this angle should be so C angle C A C B must equal to 70 degrees. How can we check? We need to bring our protractor here. We need to count the angle from zero, because the center is on that point. So we count from zero, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70. So it's definitely 70 degrees.